guys, oh, welcome to the video. My name's Amanda, I'm a third year vet student, and for this week's video, I thought I would show you what my life is like as a vet student during the weekends. In the past, I've gotten a lot of questions asking what I do as a vet student on the weekends. Like, do I spend the whole time studying? Do you get the weekends off? What do weekends look like? So because I have a midterm on Monday and because basically every single Monday we have a midterm, I figured I would film this weekend and show you guys how I structure my weekends and how I fit in all my studying while still trying to enjoy my life. Because unfortunately, as a vet student, we don't get the typical weekend off. We still have things to do. We still have things to study, especially Especially when we have midterms on Monday. But you guys know that I am a huge advocate for having a work-life balance, so I really do try and incorporate that, especially on the weekends. Anyways, it is currently 8.30. I actually have to go run, pick up a grocery order before I come home and study, so I'm gonna go ahead, do that, and then I will catch up with you when I get home and I will give you a rundown of what my weekend typically looks like. Hello, it took me longer to get groceries and to do my shopping than I had anticipated, but I did get a coffee. So there's a bright side in all of this. Now that I am home, um, I'm gonna spend probably the rest of the day studying. We're actually going out to hang out with some friends tonight. So I do need to get a good chunk of studying in today. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I think I said that I have a midterm Monday, but I don't think I told you guys what it was. So our midterm Monday is systems pathology and honestly this is probably our hardest class in third year or at least I personally think it's the hardest class. I'm not very good at pathology to begin with so this course scares me a lot. I've actually been studying for the past four days now for this and I still have quite a bit of content that I need to get through. So yeah, because we do have midterms basically every single Monday, I do spend a good majority of the weekends studying. And because of that, I try to take every single Friday night off. So once my classes are done on Friday, I literally put all of my school stuff away, lock it in my office and I don't touch it. Last year, I tried to take a lot of Saturdays off as well. And unfortunately this year, we just have so much content Content that we have to learn that I really don't feel like I can take Saturdays off. However, that doesn't mean that, that I spend the entire weekend studying. I really do try and balance it out and take breaks and do things that I'm enjoying instead of just sitting at my desk for, you know, two days straight studying. Okay, that's enough talking. I need to go make lunch and then sit down to study. I've mentioned it before, but one of the ways that I use Notion is to keep track of all of the lectures that I'm going through and then to make sure that I review all of them in time for a midterm or an exam. So this is actually my past tracker template and I'll show you guys the course that I'm studying for for this Monday. If you missed my video on how I use Notion for vet school, make sure you go check that out because I go into a lot more detail about this template and how I use the past tracker. But basically as I go through lectures, I record them in here and I record how difficult they are. And then as I I'm reviewing them for an upcoming midterm, I check them off to make sure that I've gone through all of the content. And it also just gives me a better idea of how many lectures or how much content I have to get through before an upcoming midterm. So for my midterm on Monday, we actually have 19 lectures worth of content that I have to get through. Half of it is on whole body pathology. The other half is on the digestive system. But basically this whole week, I went through the whole body stuff. So those have already been checked off. And then the plan for this weekend is to finish up going through the digestive lectures and then hopefully have time on Sunday to go through everything one more time to make sure that I really understand the content. So yeah, that's the plan. I just took a break to curl my hair for tonight and time to get back to studying. Hey guys, future Amanda here. I realized that I never actually told you how I was studying for this exam and I actually used a new study method for this exam specifically that I really enjoyed and I found really effective in actually remembering concepts for the exam. I can't take any credit for this. My prof actually introduced us to it and it's called the methods of loci. And basically the whole concept of this is that you create an image in your head and you link really distinct pictures to certain terms or concepts that you're trying to remember. And that way when it comes 
comes time to sitting down for an exam or when you need to recall the information, you can think about those images in your head and then be reminded of the term or the concept that goes with that image. So if that doesn't make sense to you, I'm gonna give you an example so that you guys can see how I personally use this to study for my exam. The example that we were given was for hypercalcemia and basically to remember the causes of hypercalcemia, we created an entire picture that would help us remember those and link those terms to the picture. So this example was one that was given by our prof, but I customized it a little bit so that it worked with how my brain works and I incorporated images that meant something to me. So for this example, hypercalcemia takes place in my kitchen. And when I walk into my kitchen, there's a massive glass of milk sitting on the counter. Now this glass of milk is my key for hypercalcemia. So now that we have this, we can go into all of the things that cause hypercalcemia. I'm obviously only gonna give a couple examples, otherwise we'd be here for way too long, but it'll give you guys an idea of how this study method works and how I used it to recall some really important concepts. So we walk into the kitchen, there's a big glass of milk. Now in the glass of milk, there's this really massive straw and on either sides of the straw, there's two little glands. However, the one thyroid gland is massive and this indicates hyperparathyroidism, which is a cause of hypercalcemia. All of a sudden, out of nowhere pops a dog and he starts drinking the milk. When we look at the dog closer, Skittles start falling out of his ears into a teacup. Now this teacup represents T-cell lymphoma, which is another cause of hypercalcemia. So that's just a little example of how I remembered some things for my midterm. The weirder that you can make the images, the more distinct that you can make the images, the easier it's gonna be for you to recall them when you're sitting down in a midterm or when you're practicing in the future. I also find that this method really helps with long-term retention. My prof used some of these examples in our lectures like two months ago, and when it came time for me to study for this midterm. I honestly didn't even have to go over those concepts because I already had this picture in my head and I remembered all the terms or things that were linked to this picture in my head. So yeah, I just wanted to share the study method with you if you are looking to try out a new one. I personally wish I would have found out about this way sooner and it's made my studying a lot easier. So wanted to share that. If you use it, let me know of what picture you're making in your head because I just think it's so funny hearing the stories or the diagrams that people come up with. Anyways, I'll let you get back to the video now and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Good morning, happy Sunday. I honestly don't think I filmed at all last night, so you're probably wondering what the heck happened and how come it's already a new day. Well, basically, like I had mentioned, we went to a friend's last night, we had some drinks, we played some games. It was a great time. It was a lovely way to de-stress. With that being said, I definitely did not get through as much work yesterday as I had planned, which honestly, I don't know why I'm surprised. I feel like that always happens. I always have this idea in my head of how much I'm gonna get done and normally I do not get through that much content, but that's okay. That just means I have a couple more more lectures to get through today. I did get up like decently early this morning. I slept in a little bit, but I'm up. I'm gonna go grab some breakfast, get some coffee, and then get to studying because like I said, a lot of stuff to go through today before the midterm tomorrow. Update that you probably didn't need. I made tea instead of coffee. Who am I? It's getting cold out. It's snowing right now actually. So, you know, probably wasn't the time to make a nice coffee. So I know that I mentioned that I didn't get through as much content as I wanted, and I thought I would just clarify that. So typically, going into an exam, I kind of have a plan of when I want to study things, when I want to get done studying things by. But with that being said, life happens and because of that studying does not always go to plan and I would say probably like 80% of the time I really don't end up sticking to my study plan because it either takes me longer to understand certain concepts or certain lectures were way longer than others and it takes me a longer time to get through them. I don't know why I make a plan anymore but I still do because it makes me feel organized. I do find it's best to take it day by day and just tell myself that whatever I get through in that day is really good and as long as I'm actually learning that content and I'm actually absorbing it. So what if I didn't get through as much stuff if I'm learning it? Obviously I'm doing something right. So in case you thought I had a study schedule that I stick to all the time, I definitely do not. Anyway, I will update you um, if I do something exciting other than sit here and study. Oh, I really smacked that. Cheers. Going nowhere lately It's time to start all over And go for it Cause they don't need It is a couple hours later I've gotten through three lectures Still have six more to go The whiteboard is coming along 
doesn't look like a lot, but some key information there. I am getting really tired of studying this stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I don't find it super interesting and I'm having a really hard time studying. Also, it's been a long week of studying for this course, so I feel like my brain is just really overloaded at this point and I'm really looking forward to this exam being done tomorrow. A few moments later. My brain feels like it is crying. I honestly don't think I can look at my notes <laughs> any longer. I am absorbing like zero information at this point. So I'm gonna take a break and I think I'm gonna put some Christmas decorations up. I was gonna start decorating the tree and like put the ribbon on, but I think I need to wait for Steven to get home cause like it's kind of tall and I'm kind of short. So I think I'll wait for him to get home to do that, but I'm gonna start putting some stuff up around the apartment and just make it a little bit more festive and give me some motivation to get through the rest of this semester. I'll show you all my Christmas decorations once I put them up. Sing about a holiday. Holiday. Hope you enjoyed that little uh, Christmas decoration montage that I just threw in there. Honestly, that was a really good break. I'm ready to go back to studying now. I don't want to say that I'm feeling super productive because I'm not, but that break definitely helped. And I'm hoping to get through a couple more lectures before dinner. Yeah, I don't know why I'm even making a study plan at this point because who knows if I'm going to stick to it, but back to studying. Okay, I finally finished going through all of my lectures. I took a shower and now I'm honestly gonna sit on my couch in front of my Christmas tree, try not to panic for tomorrow, and go over all the study guides that I made. Really try and focus on the concepts that I found difficult and review a lot of the major topics that I feel like will be on the exam tomorrow. That's gonna be the plan. I'm so glad this day is almost over and I don't have to study anymore. It's 11 o'clock now. I'm going to head to bed. Typically, I never stay up super late studying because one, if I'm tired, I know I'm not gonna learn stuff. And two, if I don't know it by this point before the midterm, I'm not gonna know it for the midterm so I always try and get a really good night's sleep before writing an exam. I ended up going through all of my study guides again. I'm feeling like decently confident in the material so fingers crossed for tomorrow and I will see you guys in the morning. Midterm is officially done. Um, I honestly don't know how that went. It was pretty fair, I will say, but like I said, this is my hardest course, so I'm hoping it went well, but who really knows at this point? However, I am so excited that that is over and done with. I feel like this huge weight is lifted off my shoulders now that that midterm is out of the way. I think we only have five more midterms until Christmas, so that's really exciting. The countdown is officially on, and there you guys have it. That is how I spend my weekend as a vet student. I don't know how interesting it was since I do spend the majority of my weekend studying. Obviously, some weeks are different depending on the midterm if it's not as challenging as this one. Obviously, I spend less time studying, but for this one, I did need to put a lot of hours in to make sure I knew all the content, but hopefully that gives you guys a realistic idea of what vet school is like and how many hours can go into studying. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. If you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and you want to join the family, or if you want to see more content about vet school, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on my notifications. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.